Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing Cha-Ching number 92. Uh, I apologize, I literally like just woke up from a nap and I decided to film a Cha-Ching. I have a visitor here that <laughs> just came, <laughs> just came to say hello, but you guys have been asking to see Amelia, so here she is, this little turkey girl. She's getting so big. Oh, she's tired too. She wants to take a nap. Uh, I don't know what she was doing when I was napping. Apparently not napping because <laughs> she wants to take a nap. Girl, you cannot sleep in my arms right now. Say hi to everybody. You're like, I'm sleepy, Mom. You're sleepy. Oh, poor thing. Now I feel bad because she just wants to lay down. <laughs> Hun, I'm gonna have to put you down. You can go lay down with Daddy. He's probably on the couch. She's like, no, I don't want to. I gotta put you down, honey. I gotta put you down. <laughs> All right, so as stated, <laughs> I woke up from a nap and I decided to do a cha-ching video. So today we are gonna be doing cha-ching number 92. So the first thing that we have that I left off on was a bottle of perfume. This was by Gap in the Scent Um, And this here is an older fragrance. I feel like I remember someone saying that Gap like re like bought out um, these older fragrances again. I don't know how long that lasted or anything like that, but this one was an original like vintage bottle. I got that at a yard sale like a while back. It was in like a little gift set. I think I paid about $3 for it. And that did sell with a best offer of $250. So that was a really good sale. Next item I have is an L.E. Smith blue swung glass vase. So if you watched my other cha-ching, I was selling some of my, my swung vases. This one was a 19 inch that sold for $49.99. And that did come from an auction. I'd say in the grand scheme of things, I paid maybe six or seven dollars for it. Next thing I have is this was a car part for a Mitsubishi Evo. EVO. <laughs> I don't know my cars, so bear with me. Anyway, these were ball joints. I have no idea <laughs> what those are and like what part of the, the car they belong on. But um, Eric and I found these at an auction. They were missing something else within the, the box that they were in, but they still did sell for $89.99. And I'd say we paid less than $10 for those. This next one was a really good one. This one was for a vintage from 1976 Kermit the Frog plush. This was brand new, still on its original box. Eric and I won this at an auction. I'd say we paid $40 or less for it. I wanna say it was more in the $30 range. And that sold for $233.50 kind of feel like that maybe went overseas um so yeah that was a really good sale as well i sold a pair of lefton cherub angel figures these sold for $24.99 and they probably came on a tray i won at an auction so i'd say maybe a dollar or two dollars for those I also sold a pair of Doc Martens boots. These ones kind of had a, like you could fold them over and then on the underside was like a plaid fabric. I got those at a fill a bag rummage sale. So grand scheme of things, about a dollar into those and they sold for $49.99. Pretty much every Doc Martens I find sells. The only one that hasn't sold yet that I still have listed are um, a child size. Um, next item we have is a pair of Barbie boots. <laughs> These sold for $12.99 just for a pair of Barbie shoes. Um, at one point I got a couple little like sandwich baggies of Barbie shoes and like little accessories at a yard sale. So I think I paid like a dollar a bag, maybe even less than that. And yeah, those, those shoes just by themselves sold for $12.99 so that was fantastic. I love little small things like that because 
it does add up in the grand scheme of things. Next we have an Avon perfume called Extraordinary that sold for $9.99 that did come from one of the Avon auctions that I went to. So about a dollar for that, potentially less because a lot of the time stuff was just going on trays for a dollar. Uh, next we have, oh, this next item did go to a subscriber named Sherry. This was for a set of Joan Wash ornaments, and then there was like a little um, trinket dish as well. Those sold for $19.99, and they did come um, from an auction. They were on a tray of some other stuff that I won. I couldn't even tell you <laughs> what tray or how much, you know, I paid for it. Um, next item we have is a Boyd's Mini Bear. This said Warm Winter Wishes on it. That sold for $66. Typically when I come across these little Boyd's Bears at yard sales is where I typically pick them up. Um, I pay like 50 cents or less. Sometimes they're even just given to me for free. So sometimes I don't pay anything for them. So but they tend to sell pretty decently. Some more, like some better than others. Next item I have is a Christmas ornament. This was by a company called Tinker Taylor. I picked this up at a fill -a bag rummage sale and typically at a fill -a bag rummage sale, I paid $10 for my bag. So to break it down, like a dollar or less, I paid for the item. And that sold for $35.99. So that one was a really good one. I just kind of like, threw it in my bag on a whim because I thought it was really pretty and then come to find out that the Tinker Tailor brand um, is actually pretty decent. So that was a good score. Uh, next item we have is a clothing piece. This was a tank top by a company called Green Envelope. That sold for $16.99. I feel like this actually maybe came from Goodwill. Uh, so I'd say maybe I spent $1.99 or $2.99 for it. Uh, I feel like it might have been a day when they were having like a, a sale on clothes, which my Goodwills don't typically do, do sales. So uh, that's probably why I picked it up that day. Next item did go to a subscriber named Mary. And she also purchased a Monet... A little trinket box that I had and like I said I'm gonna be doing a separate video on the Monet trinket boxes so you won't see that in this stitching but she did also purchase a Liz Claiborne mirrored compact that sold for $9.99 and um, that actually did come on a tray with the Monet trinket boxes that I won so when I do the Monet trinket box video, I'm going to like break it down a little bit better for you as far as like what I paid for all of the trinket boxes and what they've all sold for so far. I still have a lot that are currently listed that haven't sold yet, but I did sell a bunch of them. Uh, next item we have is, this was an old plastic toy, but it was still sealed in its original bag. It was called Treasure Toys and it was a Dune Runner. That sold for $29.99. I won that at an auction for about $3, I'd say. I sold a little tiny mini dollhouse floral vase. That sold for $12.99. That actually was on one of the Monet trinket box trays I won at an auction as well. There were like a couple like dollhouse miniature pieces mixed in on those trays. Don't really know why, but <laughs> you know. I listed them anyway, and some of this stuff has sold. I sold a Wabash National plaque. Uh, this was just like a, a plaque. I think it had to do with trucking, basically. Uh, that sold for $49.99. I saw that at an auction. I just randomly took a picture of it. I was like, I don't really know what this is, but I'm going to look it up. I couldn't find any, but from what I was seeing, um, other like advertising type pieces with this Wabash National were selling pretty decently. So I was like, well, if I can get it for cheap enough, I'm just going to go ahead and grab it. And I think I maybe only paid like a dollar or $2 for it. So that was a really good sale. I sold a, oh, one of my subscribers was just asking about this, um, prom dress. Um, 
they were saying that it looked like um, a dress that a Dawn doll would have wore, and that's totally true. Like, as soon as I saw that comment, I was like, I could completely picture that. This was for, oh my gosh, it was beautiful, a vintage from the 60s, like, prom or party dress absolutely beautiful so the tags attached i got this at like a barn sale that i went to oh my gosh i racked up that day um i got so much good stuff that day i i missed that sale i would have loved to go go back to it they moved um but yeah it was just an amazing sale anyway this sold for a best offer of $37, guys. Like, I don't know. Like, no one was, like, I have tons and tons of watchers on it, but no one would bite. So I don't know if it was because of the size or what, but I was a little, like, I, you know, I wasn't upset by the price that it sold for, but just kind of like, wow, I can't believe how amazing this piece is, and, you know, it's not really worth much of anything. So maybe eBay wasn't the best place to, to list it on or so, but, um, you know, it was a really gorgeous dress, and I made money off of it. I think I paid maybe two bucks for it, so not bad. Uh, next item did go to a subscriber named Margaret. This was a pewter Hershey Kiss thimble that sold for $18.99 and that came from an auction it was actually it's so weird um I had won like this bag of like vintage Christmas little pine cone um figures basically and I bought them for myself I didn't even buy them to resell and this thimble was just like on the bottom of the bag <laughs> so I ended up listing it and it didn't sell um, next item also went to a subscriber named Joanne. This was for a vintage by JSNY. It was a plastic, um, toy of Santa Claus on a helicopter. That's over $12.99. I came from the same auction that day. I won all the Monet's and the Hershey Kiss thimble, the dollhouse miniatures, all of that good stuff. And this was on a tray of some stuff that I won, some vintage Christmas items. This next item was a Vera Wang by Wedgwood wedding server set. This sold for $25.99 and that did come from a yard sale. Um, it was a yard sale where you just gave whatever because it was like a donation type of yard sale and I bought so much. Well, it wasn't a ton of stuff that day. You guys saw that video. Uh, it was a video where I found the Avon, the last Avon advent calendar um, that I purchased. Um, so in the grand scheme of things, I couldn't tell you exactly what I spent on it, but, um, it did sell very, very fast. I will say that much. Um, next item we have is a set of the Help Me Be Good books. Eric and I just found these again while out yard sailing and they sold again, but this was my first set. <laughs> Those sold for $69.99 and, um, I think we paid about $7 for that set at a yard sale. And like I said, we just came across this set again like a couple months ago maybe or last month and it sold again. So if you ever come across this set, it's definitely desirable. I think my first set, this set that sold was in better condition and there were a couple more books than the last set that I sold. But you'll see that again in another cha-ching, future cha-ching. I sold another Boyd's Bears mini bear. This one had a get well soon sweater on. That one sold for $79.99. So that one was a good one. Um, I found that at a yard sale and I'm pretty sure I paid either 50 cents, maybe 75 cents for it. But typically, like I said, whenever I find them, they are like less than a dollar. This next item was so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, I kind of regret, I kind of a little bit regret selling it because it was so, so neat. This was for a light bulb, right? I remember this was on a tray of stuff we won at an auction and Eric and I were both kind of like, what the heck is this light bulb just like randomly doing on this tray? Well here, there were these filaments in the light bulb shaped like flowers and you can see in the picture, lit up like that so incredibly beautiful so i tried to do a little bit of research on this light bulb because it was something i had never seen before i didn't even know they made light bulbs that look like this um, i was coming across a brand called aerolux 
um, that made a lot of these light bulbs with these funky like shaped filaments in. Um, that sold for $38.75. So for something that like we thought was just like nothing to sell for $38, like that's really cool. Um, and yeah, it was just the neatest thing ever. Um, next we have an LG dual screen display. Eric picked this up at a yard sale. I think he paid like $5 for it and it sold for $84.99. So that was a good one. Um, this next item also went to Joanne. This was a mini, two little mini Santa Claus um, ceramic figures. Again, these came on an auction tray from that same auction. A lot of this stuff came from the same auction that day. And those sold for $12.99. Next item we have um, also went to a subscriber. I have a lot of subscriber sales in this stitching. This one went to Mary. And this was a set, a vintage um, matchbook um, set with Santa Claus on the cover. These were really cool. These were big. They were like much bigger than your average typical sized book of matches. Those sold for $12.99. You know what? I think I need to make, <laughs> I think I need to make a correction. I feel like I said the last Santa Claus figure sold for $12.99. They actually sold for $22.50. I think I was looking at the wrong the wrong price here. So the matchbook sold for $12.99 and again came from that same auction on one of those uh, Christmas trays that I won. Next we have a cast iron flower basket door stopper. This sold for $39.99. Uh, I do think this was like a reproduction of a Hubley um, cast iron door stop, uh, but it still sold for a decent price. And that also came from an auction um, and on a tray of some other stuff that I won, which is so funny. Like I've said before, like when Eric and I win trays of stuff at an auction, like typically it's just like one thing on a tray that we're interested in, you know, sometimes more. Um, and then there will be something else on the tray that we list and that thing will sell first or we'll find something else on the tray that's actually worth more than the thing that like we thought was worth the most that just happened. Um, the other week I got a tray of... Um, gingerbread related stuff and there was a boy's bear on there in a little gingerbread costume you saw in one of my haul videos and here it wasn't worth as much as I thought it was like when I looked it up and I just picked another gingerbread figure off of the tray just to look up and see because I like to look up everything before I decide whether or not it's worth the time to list or you know to put in like a flea market pile or a yard sale pile and that type of thing and here, this gingerbread plush that I picked up and looked up is worth like $40. So it's worth even more than like the Boyd's Bear I was interested in. So it's funny how that how that works. Uh, next we have a baby top that sold for $25.99. That did come from a fill -a bag rummage sale. So about a dollar into that. Um, we sold a gear wrench, a uh, torque wrench for $69.99. Eric picked this up at a yard sale. I'd say he paid maybe $15 or $20 for it. We also sold a brass Albert Buten railway lantern. This was for a set of two. Eric won these at an auction. Those sold for $89.99, so that was a really good sale. i say we paid maybe $10 to $12 on those. Uh, next we have a Bucilla Paper Dolls Cross Stitch Kit. That sold for $45.99. I got that at an auction for a dollar. Sold another Avon perfume. This is another Avon Extraordinary perfume. I think I had two and they both sold. Um, again, that one sold as well for $9.99. I sold this, this is by a brand called Soroa. It was a bird soup bowl with a lid. So it had like a little like plug thing on the top so you could put it in the microwave and stuff like that. Um, Typically when I find these, they sell, not for like a ton of money, but you know, I, I usually have 
fairly good reselling success with them because I pick them up at yard sales and I don't pay much for them. I'd say I paid a dollar or less for that and it sold for $19.99. We sold a Mac Tools Torque Wrench for $114.99. We bought that the same at the same yard sale we bought that other Torque Wrench at. And this one I do think he was asking 50 for it because it was Mac Tools, and Mac Tools is a really good brand. Um, next, we have a pair of Picolinos shoes. I actually have two pairs of these. This one, this one sold, and I have another color of the same exact shoe listed. These sold for $89.99. Um, I typically have um, pretty good luck with this brand of shoes. I got those at a yard sale, and I paid $5 for them. I sold another L.E. Smith uh, blue swung vase. This one was another 19 inch. I think my other one was 19 inches as well. I could be wrong. Anyway, that one's over $49.99 and it came from the same auction I purchased the other one at. Um, so <clears throat> probably like $7 into that one as well. They were in like a box lot area, which kind of blew my mind that they weren't out in like the main part of the auction. Uh, next item was a Brooks Brothers coat that sold for uh, best offer of $34. Pretty sure that came from Goodwill. So I'd say I had maybe five, six dollars into that. I sold a set of Neil the Frog salt and pepper shakers for $23.99. I got these at a flea market and I think I paid about three dollars for those. I sold a top from Buckle. Uh, this was by a brand called Gimmicks. That sold for $16.99 and that did come from a yard sale. So I'd say I probably paid about a dollar for it. I sold a Lisa Frank stationery chest. This had a whole bunch of different like Lisa Frank items inside. That sold for $69.99 and I got that at a yard sale and I'm pretty sure I paid maybe two dollars tops for it so that was a really good price um next we have a bottle a vintage bottle of nini nini yeah nina ricci <laughs> perfume and that sold for fifteen dollars and 99 cents and oh gosh where did that come from probably a perfume tray from like an auction i would say uh, this next item did go to a subscriber named Sheila. This was a, this was by a company called Dandy. They make a lot of like plushies and stuff like that. This was for a turkey hat. It was musical. You press the button on it and it's like little legs would wobble around and jingle and everything like that. And it was so sweet. Um, she had messaged me and she works at a hospital and she likes wearing like funny hats during the holidays and stuff like that to cheer everyone up. And I thought that was so sweet. Um, that sold for $59 and 99 cents. These were selling really well. And I picked that up at a yard sale. I want to say I paid a dollar or less for it. Uh, next item also went to a subscriber named Sandra. This was for a teacup and saucer by a company called Grace's Teaware. I actually got it at the same yard sale I got that turkey hat from. Eric picked that up, the teacup. Um, that sold for $15.99, and I think we paid $2 for that. I sold a older Italian hand-blown ornament, Christmas ornament, of an ice skater. That sold for $81. I did get this at an auction and I paid roughly 15, 13 to $15 for it. And oh my gosh. So this here was my second ever um, local pickup as far as eBay goes. I've only ever had one other one. So I've done local pickup two times on eBay. Um, where I've sold something to someone local who just wanted to pick up instead of paying shipping. And the man who purchased this, oh, he was such a character. Um, just so funny. I mean, we were chatting for like ages. We met up at um, a convenience store down the street. And he had just been at some sort of like antique um like antique show or something like that and his car was just 
full of stuff because I guess he liked he just bought so much stuff he was showing showing us some of the stuff that he bought and he was just like going on about like all of his collections that he has and how he has all of these collections of these Italian blown glass ornaments and stuff like that and he said like he had never come across um an ice skating one so he was super excited to add that to his collection and it was just so much fun so it's just it's it's fun to like have those types of stories you know as as a reseller like meeting meeting your buyers instead of just you know shipping them something you're actually like meeting face to face type of thing and hearing um you know what they like and you know why they purchased it and things like that I thought it was neat um next we have this was a vintage Elizabeth Ann Victorian dollhouse so this was pretty much like the guts um to build the the dollhouse itself um these were selling so incredibly well and this one was like really hard to find it was brand new it had never been put together I sold that for $282.77 and I won that at an auction I think I paid like less than 20 bucks for it so that was an amazing sale. Uh, this next item was also a really good sell sale. This was a doll by someone named Heather Masiek. Um, the doll was called Dressy Jenny. Um, so this lady makes these really beautiful detailed dolls just in like small batches basically. Like they're all numbered and there's only so many that are made and that kind of thing. I won this at an auction for, again, I believe less than $20, and that sold for $199.99, so that was a really awesome sale as well. I sold a set of Norcrest boy and girl, like little ceramic figures. Those sold for $51. They also came from an auction, and I'd say paid seven dollars for those um next item went to a subscriber named amy i'm telling you guys i have a lot of subscriber sales in this stitching this was for a cross stitch kit of pope john paul that sold that sold that sold for 29 dollars and 99 cents and again came from an auction i paid a dollar for it um it was the same day I, I got the paper doll cross stitch kit as well um, next we have a vintage mini Dior poison perfume that sold for $29.99. That came from an auction as well, or I just bought like a bunch of miniature perfumes, which I know I've said before, I still don't have them all listed, and I still don't. <laughs> uh, next item we have was for a Helen Kish dog so this went with one of the helen kish dolls uh, it was a firefighter doll this went with and it was just his dog basically um so i won this at an auction it was with a couple other things that i had purchased um so it took me a little while to figure out like what this dog even was or what it went with but the interesting thing was that doll was at the auction, but the his dog wasn't with him. So I guess the auction place didn't realize that they went together. And no one else, I guess, who was interested in the doll made mention, like, hey, the dog goes to the doll, so auction that together type of thing. So it, it was with the lot of stuff I won. And that sold for $34. So that's really awesome. Um, wasn't expecting that. Uh, next item to go to a subscriber named Sandra. This was for a Shannon Crystal Swan shaped votive holder that sold for seven dollars and ninety nine cents. That did come from a yard sale, and I'd say I paid a dollar or less for it. I sold a Stratego wooden bookshelf game. So these are games that are in these like wooden boxes that kind of resemble books so when you have them on your bookshelf it kind of just looks like books but they're games some of those can sell really well there are people out there who collect them um, but definitely if you come across one do a comp on it because not all of them sell for the greatest amount of money um this one sold for $29.99 and I paid about three dollars for that at a yard sale I sold a Lush tote bag with a Lush eye mask. Both of these items, I believe, came from one of my Lush subscription boxes. 
Those sold for $29.99. I also sold a vintage Hug -a Bunch doll for $19.99. That came from a yard sale. And I paid about a dollar for it. And the last thing that I have for this cha-ching is for a set of earrings. Um, these were owls and butterflies by a company called Two Sisters. Those sold for a best offer of $12.99. And those came on a jewelry tray that I had won um, at an auction. So that is everything for this cha-ching. Um, as far as within this cha-ching, I had one, <clears throat> one return. So this is an older, an old, like, you guys know I'm not like super up to date. So these were from these, all these things sold like a couple months ago. Um, so one return within all of these items. And I will say I did have, <clears throat> I did have two returns recently. So I felt like, I feel like there's a little bit of uptick with, with returns. Um, the one return was, I think someone had buyer's remorse because they said that it didn't work um, and it does, you know, we got it back, it does work. So, um, you know, it, it, if you have buyer's remorse and you want to return something, I mean, you can return something. Like, it's, the option is there to return. I don't need to, like, hear your reason why or, like, claim that something's not working when it is and that type of stuff. So, you know, I don't mind. I'll just relist the item. And then I think recently I had another return for... I can't even remember off the top of my head now what it was for. But um, I have been noticing recently, I've been getting, like, I got a message the other day of um, someone who, they weren't happy with a price that I had something listed for. And they said something like, I can buy this for this amount somewhere else, yada, yada, yada. And, like, I honestly, like, I don't respond to those types of messages. I just, you know, delete them. Like, it's not worth it, basically. Um, you know, if, if you can find it cheaper and you want the item, then you go ahead and you buy it somewhere else cheaper. Like, it was for that vintage strawberry shortcake toy chest that I have listed. There are none currently listed on eBay except for mine. I haven't looked elsewhere to see if anyone has one, you know, on Macari or Etsy or any place like that. Um, you know, but if they do and it's cheaper on that platform, then by all means they can purchase it on the, the other platform. But I'm listing stuff for the prices that, you know, things are selling for. And the last one had sold for $300. So that's what I priced mine at. Um, so it's just things like that. Like why people go out of their way to like message things like that. Um, it's like, I don't know what their motives are. Like, I don't know if they're fishing to try and get something for cheaper, if they're trying to make you feel bad, or, you know, what their motives are for even taking the time out of their life to <laughs> message something like that. I don't know. Um, but I, I have been noticing some, like, weird upticks of some, like, weird messages lately. Um, but as far as eBay sales, I do still feel like... Um, you know, they're not as great right now because of it, of it being summer and everyone being on vacation. I still feel like things are kind of slow, a little slumpy, um, but, you know, I'm just continuously listing, getting stuff listed and ready for, um, you know, when people are going to start buying again. Uh, I mean, I have sales consistently every day, but, um, you know, some days are obviously better than others. And right now, um, you know, they're just so-so, I guess you'd say, but still can't complain because a sale is a sale no matter what. Um, today, Eric and I did go out, um, yard sailing, um, we're under a heat wave right now and unfortunately we went to like a couple yard sales and I started to feel like I was gonna have like an anxiety attack and I told him like I apologize but I'd really just like to go home and rest 
and that's what I did. That's why I took a nap and I woke up from my nap and I felt better. So I was like, well, I'm going to do a cha-ching. So I probably missed out on some stuff um, since I wasn't able to go to many yard sales and I didn't find anything at the ones that I did stop at. Um, but you know, that's life and it's, it sucks. Like I hate having to deal with it. Like I hate so much having, having anxiety and stuff like that because it, it really does like ruin your day basically. Um, so, you know, it, it brings me down sometimes like just avid, having it ruin my day. And then I feel bad, like, oh my gosh, there's so many people out there who, you know, have it so much worse and have more problems than just stupid old anxiety, you know what I mean? So then I feel bad for even feeling like it's ruining my day type of thing. Like, you know, I'm thankful for everything that I do have and that I don't, you know, have to live with. So... Um, yeah, I felt better since I, since I took a nap and everything and, um, trying to finish off my sweet tea I got from McDonald's this morning. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much everything for this video. Um, hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I've been trying to, like, post a video every single day and it, it's starting to wear me down a little bit. It is hard keeping up with posting a video absolutely every day and editing a video every day. But I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. So, yeah, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> but as long as people still want to watch my videos, I will still keep making them. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.